In this video, we will discuss the summary of Kamala Das, my grandmother's house. For a line by line explanation, visit the vlog, the link is in the description below. The poet begins a short nostalgic poem by recalling her grandmother's house. Das mentions in her autobiography, My Story, that she spent her joyful time in her grandmother's house in Malabar. She used to receive care and love in that house. For her, the house is a heaven on earth. Unfortunately, her grandmother has passed away. With her death, the house also decays. Snakes move among books and it gives us an eerie feeling. Thus mentions in my story that when both her granduncle and grandmother passed away, the windows of the old Nalapat house were closed and the servants were separated. It is hard for her to realize that her lovely grandmother is no more because she is the one who loves her dearly. She mentions in the autobiography, none had loved me as deeply as my grandmother. Therefore, she laments the death of someone like her in her life. The absence of the woman in her life makes the poet sad. Therefore, despite of the truth, she often thinks of visiting the desolate house to revive her memories. She wants to peep through the dusty windows or listen to the frozen air in the house. In desperation, she wants to bring a handful of darkness from her grandmother's house into her home to lie like a brooding dog. She wants to go there to revive her memories and live with those memories. The dark and empty house can soothe her restless heart. It's an obvious hint that her present life is not satisfactory. She proudly repeats that she used to receive love in her grandmother's house. Unfortunately, there is no one to love her now. As a result, she tries some new ways of getting love. Have you noticed that the poet tries to escape from reality? If yes, click the video to learn more about the poem.